Nanimo switchback, insulated regular, new foam pad, closed cell foam. This is my first review. This new Nemo switchback insulated regular is uh, like many other closed cell foam pads uh, from other brands. The way to go if you want to go uh, light and uh, without the doubt of losing air in your inflatable sleeping pad. I've uh, just received this one. I purchased it myself. I'm looking forward to, to try this one out. Early on, I've been using uh, this one, the Thermarest Sea Light Sole. I've been very happy with this one, very pleased. Um, as you can see, it's a little more gray because this aluminum coating is kind of rubbed off. Um, but I've been really grateful for this one. Uh, and now I'm looking forward to test the Nemo switchback. Um, as you can see here, there's not much of a difference in height when they're packed. It's a little difficult to see, like this. At least what I can see is they're kind of the same height. I've also tried weighing both of them. This one, the Thermarest is going it at uh, 405 grams. I'll uh, leave the weight up here somewhere. And um, the Nemo Switchback, I thought it was going to be lighter, but uh, unfortunately not. It's uh, 50 grams heavier than the Thermarest. Um, a big difference between the two, or what I've noticed is that they have uh, coated the, um, the pads uh, on opposite sides. So the Nemo, you're supposed to sleep on the orange side. So the aluminum foil here is, or the coating is going to be facing downwards. And on the Thermarest, it's opposite. Here it's meant to be that you face the aluminium coating upwards. Regarding the nodes on a Nemo switchback, I've noticed that they are a tiny bit harder when you push them down compared to the th Thermarest here. Then these are a little bit more squishy. It's definitely more comfortable to to lay uh, to lay on this Nemo switchback compared to the Thermarest, but also taking in mind that this one is maybe four years old, and this one's brand new. I haven't slept on it yet. I'm one one hundred seventy centimeters, so I'm not that tall of a guy, and uh, definitely these this Nemo switchback is more than adequate enough for my size. Laying on the back, very comfortable. But when I turn to the side, after a while, I'll definitely be able to notice that my hip bone are kind of digging into the floor. Um, the same is happening on, on the Thermarest. But this one, it takes maybe double the time. Um, before I notice it but I don't know if that's because it's brand new and the nodes hasn't been compressed yet or it's just because this new technology with the nodes here with these hyper elastic zones and more height on the nodes if that's the case I can definitely say that the Thermarest has been my go-to uh, closed cell foam pad I've used the last couple of years and this one if you don't have it yet or just a closed cell foam pad in general I'll definitely recommend it you can use it for anything like if you're working at home you can use it as a knee pad you can just fold it in half use it as a knee pad like this you can use it as a sit pad also like this, or you can use it higher. 
Uh, you can nearly use it as a stool when you're out backpacking. Just sitting completely folded like this, it gives you a little bit of height. Maybe when you're cooking or something like that. Um, in my tent, I use it as a small kind of area where I can put my stuff in the vestibule. And so it's gonna be the same with the new switchback. Uh, I'll test it in the same ways as I've done with the Thermarest. And I've also used this Thermarest when it was quite cold outside, maybe minus five degrees centigrade. I've used it as an extra pad underneath my um, Asavik air pad just because the rating on the Asavik air pad is maybe not so good and this one definitely helps a lot reflecting the heat back to you even though it's a little bit old and the aluminium foil is gone then it still works but of course you can feel it on this Nemo air switchback that it's all brand new and as soon as you put you put your hands on it it reflects the heat back to your hand you definitely feel it already so if you don't have any flow cell foam pads yet, I'll definitely recommend this one, but also the Thermarest sole, sea light sole. Definitely if you want to just go with a, a more durable option than an inflatable sleeping pack, go with the closed cell foam. Any of these, they're pretty good, both of them. But uh, I'm looking forward to test out the new higher baffles on the Nemo Switchback. Hope you liked my review. It's my first time, so uh, I'll definitely try to do some more. Uh, and I hope to see that any of you uh, maybe come back to my channel and look on, look on some of my other uh, reviews. Thank you.